Today on JD Cars, we're addressing the terrible rear bumper and rusted out tow hitch on our Copart Tacoma. Welcome back to another video, everyone. Today, we're resuming work on the Copart Tacoma here. This thing, ah, what a mess we got ourselves into. Nice one. Um, Today we're working on the rear end. As you all saw last time, we got that rusted manifold and those snapped studs out of the cylinder head, which was quite the process, but I'm quite proud of getting all six snap studs out of the cylinder head. Feeling good about that. We have the manifold and catalytic converter coming in tomorrow. We'll get that bolted on and see what else, hopefully not much else, but what else is wrong with the engine. In the meantime, we're gonna be working on the rear end today. The tailgate has a little bit of damage here and it's also stuck, it won't open right now. I've figured out how to open it with a pick tool. We'll be ordering new latches on both sides, new hardware, and probably a new center latch as well. Get this sucker fixed up. While we're waiting for those parts to come in though, I figure it's a good time to get rid of this rear bumper. All the trim is good. We'll be able to use these little treads here and trim pieces, but this bumper is bashed up something fierce barely holding on it's like riveted on I found under this panel there's rivets holding it on and some random bolts bolted through the bumper so we're gonna have to pull all this off also this tow hitch is not in good shape at all it's actually got two cross members that both support this tow hitch um, but as you can see it's rusting out right here and right here on the end, there's a big hole right there. So probably a good idea to replace this if we're gonna do any towing with this or anyone else is gonna tow with it. We really need to get this replaced. So we're gonna have to tackle all this rusted hardware on the end here, get these bolts off, get these cross members and tow hitch out and order up new ones. So unfortunately I couldn't get the trailer wire harness frame to separate from this wiring harness part. It wouldn't come off for me to slip it through the bumper so I had to snip the wires. <laughs> Luckily they are all different colors so it shouldn't really be too difficult to reconnect them. We had two completely disconnected leads so I have a feeling this will be a fun wiring project to get the trailer brakes working again, but oh well. At this point, we should be able to pull off the rear bumper. Well, this isn't something I've seen before. Looks like Airlines trailer brakes. You guys can see they're not actually hooked up to anything. They're just coiled up, so not really sure what this trailer setup was, but definitely some major rust under there. Holy cow. All right, so pulling that off, we can see there's some sort of impact over here that bumps this whole entire frame in. Luckily, no damage to the frame from the looks of it, but this entire tow hitch took a really big impact here. As you can see, we definitely would not want to be towing with this. Holy, oh my gosh, that is terrible absolutely wrecked but looking at the tow hitch it's got two really big bars and a huge plate on the side here so this is actually probably a great towing setup i'm going to try to find the same tow hitch because this is the beefiest one i've seen for a tacoma um and i'm sure with the trailer brakes probably has above maximum towing capacity looks like we have to get a few bolts off on the frame rail here and a few more right here. I'm gonna spray those with some penetrant and hope for the best.
All right, so up until one, everything's been going really smoothly. I got all three of those side bolts out, the two vertical bolts, and I moved on to this one here. This guy won't budge, even with the Milwaukee on full power, 1,400 foot-pounds, not breaking it loose. So I have my breaker bar in here, and a little trick, if you can't get enough leverage with just the breaker bar, take the big pipe off of your floor jack, slide it over the breaker bar, and just go to town. Oh yeah, there she goes. Now I bet the impact will take it out. Holy cow, that sucker's in there. Well, that's a little bit of rust, right? <laughs> God damn, this thing is absolutely toasted. Did some more research on the computer. This is the original, genuine OEM Toyota Tacoma tow hitch design, and I am really fond of this design. This is like quarter inch steel, nice fat big plate, bolts on really securely with a bunch of bolts, and it supports our bumper reinforcement here as well. The hitch itself is very robust. I'm sure it can do more than 5,000 pounds, but I was doing some research and the only ones really on the market are aftermarket like draw tight, Kurt, etc. class three tow hitches. Um, and it's not really too clear how they bolt on. It doesn't really look like they mount up as seamlessly as this OEM one, which is sort of disappointing. You can get one of these OEM ones but they're a bit more costly now that they're no longer in production. Um, they've switched to a new design, I believe. You can pick one of these up for about three, four hundred dollars. It's a little steep for what we're doing here. So I'm waiting to hear back from Hook Road. They make a really good looking mount, similar to this design. Even has a little spot for the trailer light connector and all that good stuff. I'm waiting to hear back from them if they're going to send one out for us. If not, we'll probably go with one of the cheaper Reese, Kurt, Draw Tight, generic mounts. And we'll have to get a new bumper reinforcement here as well. But the frame itself, checking it out, really isn't bad at all. Being replaced and all, it's not in bad shape. Also, I found a nice little kit online that comes with the striker, the latch, this cable, a new handle, all that good stuff for like 80 bucks on eBay. We got that coming in to fix up this tailgate. Hopefully we can straighten it out a little. It's just curved, but whatever. <laughs> Guess I'll see you guys when we get our new tow hitch situation and new rear bumper situation and our tailgate hardware.